could we transform Mars into a second Earth? This grand dream is called terraforming. It simply means making a planet habitable. There are three main steps, warming the planet, thickening the atmosphere, and introducing oxygen-producing organisms. However, the reality of Mars makes this a difficult challenge. Mars's atmospheric pressure is only 0.6% of Earth's so low that water would instantly boil into vapor. The average temperature is 60 degrees Celsius, and the biggest threat is radiation. This is because Mars lacks the thick atmosphere and magnetic field needed to shield us. The absence of a magnetic field and insufficient carbon dioxide make terraforming nearly impossible. So, what does our future on Mars look like? Instead of breathing open air, we'd live in self-sustaining biodomes and scientific settlements. We would reside in specialized habitats where food is grown in small greenhouses. NASA is already practicing for this future in Antarctica today. While terraforming may be a distant dream, the abundance of water ice and the clouds of methane gas on Mars offer new hope for life, as they could be signs of a biological or geological process. Finally, there is a major ethical question. Even if we gain the power to change Mars, should we do it?